Until the last video, we have been running the process from the Process Studio. This is totally fine for development purpose, but in the real world, you don't want to see those process diagrams. All you want to do is start and stop the process. And most of the times, people don't even want to start or stop the process by themselves. They simply want to schedule it or run at a particular time or interval. This is where the control room comes into picture. So let's go ahead and explore the features and functionalities of control room. Here we see that the control tab is grayed out and that is because we have given only developer access to this account with which we have logged in. So let's go ahead and provide the required permissions to access the control room. I'll first sign out from this account by clicking on the sign out button. Then I'll enter the admin username and password which we gave during the initial setup and click sign in. Then I'll go to the system tab click users and select the account click edit then go to roles and permissions now you can see that the role developer is selected so this role has the permissions to access only process studio and object studio but we also need access to the control room if you simply click on control room nothing happens even if you expand the control room and then select one of these nothing really happens that is because in Blue Prism you can only select the appropriate role and the permissions will automatically get selected depending on your role. Now you can create the new roles or modify the permissions of existing roles by going into this manage user role option. It's pretty straightforward and you can explore it yourself. Okay, for now I'm going to assign the system administrator role which will give all the permissions to this account as we need them in our upcoming videos. And I'll click OK then sign out and I will sign in back with my original account okay now we can see that all the tabs are enabled which means we have access to all the modules now let's go into the control room by clicking on the control tab here you can see a list of items on the left hand side and when you click each item the corresponding information is displayed on the right hand side now these items can be broadly classified into three session management, queue management and scheduler. Active queues is just another view of queue management. We'll talk about queue management and scheduler in the later videos. For now let's talk about session management. You can see there are three different panes in session management. Available processes, available resources and environment. The available processes pane will show you the list of processes that we have built in the process studio and published to control room. The available resources pane will show you the list of computers with Blue Prism installed on them. Now we can see only one computer which is basically the same computer which I'm working on right now. If I add more computers with Blue Prism to this network and connect them to the same Blue Prism application server then all those machines will be listed here under available resources. We'll discuss about setting up Blue Prism application server in the advanced videos. The environment pane will show you the list of processes that are assigned to a resource. Alright, now let's see how to run a process from this control room. If you go to the studio tab, you can see there are a lot of processes which we created previously, but none of them appear in the control room. That is because a process will show up in the control room only if you publish it to the control room. Let me show you what I mean. I'll double click on our currency conversion process which we created earlier and if you see here there is this one box which we never spoke about. This is called the process information stage. Let's double click that and you can see the name and description of the process which we gave while creating this process. If you want to rename the process or update the description this is where you do it. You can also see there are two tabs conditions and information. We'll discuss about them in a separate video because I don't want to deviate too much from this topic. For now, all we need to worry about this checkbox which says publish this process to control room. Now I will check this, click OK, then save the process and click refresh. Now we can see a green tick mark appearing on the process information stage which means the process is published. Now I'll close process studio and if I go to the control room 
you can see that the process has shown up in the control room under available processes. Now before we go ahead and run this process from the control room, let's fix the from currency field attribute which we modified in the last video. So I will go to studio and under objects, double click XC currency converter, then click application modeler, select the from currency and change this path to its original value which is 1 instead of 11. Click OK. Save. And close the object studio. Now get, go back to the control room and click refresh. In order to run this process from the control room, I can simply drag and drop the process to one of the available resources here. We only have one resource. And you can see a new entry is created under environments. This entry is called a session and it has a session ID which is an auto generated number, the process name, the resource name which is basically the computer name, then the username which is currently logged into this computer, the status, start time and end time. Note that whenever you drag and drop a process into the resource, the initial status will be always pending. Now in order to start this process, simply select the session and click start selection or right click on the process and click start. I'll go with the first option which is selecting this process and click start selection. You can see the process started and the status changed to running. Okay, now the process is completed and the status shows completed. You can see that the end time is also updated and it hardly took few seconds when we ran from the control room. Alright, so that is how we run a process from the control room.